Hi, this is the outdoor access point from TP-Link. The model number is EAP225. So we can use this kind of outdoor POE access point to improve the Wi-Fi outdoor. The POE access point is linked, connecting to the main router by using this internet cable. And we are using the, the injector from TP-Link, just sending both power and data to the access point. There's no need for external power supply next to the access point, so it's quite convenient. But there's one limit for the PoE, the maximum distance from the main router, not the injector, I mean from the main router to the access point is 100 meter. Why, if they are longer than 100 meter, there will be no signal from the, for the access point. So sometimes we may need to extend the PoE, install this access point beyond 100 meter. So in this case, you still need this PoE standard. So the PoE standard will repeat PoE never for another 100 meter. You chain one into the next, they say chain one unit, you can have totally 200 meter. Let's just talk about the PoE. In the PoE system, there are power and data. But actually, the PoE standard never repeat the power because the power cannot be repeat. Technically, the PoE standard only repeat the data. All right, let's just make a quick demonstration. Here we got second row of the cable. First, we need to remove the cable, the connection from the outdoor access point. So we are going to use this PoE standard to join these two cables together. There's input and output. The input will be connected to the cable from the PoE injector. And the output will be linked to the direction of the access point. Okay. That would be it. Now, we also need to connect, the, connect back to the PoE standard. But you can see there's a problem. You can, the two indicators is not fraction. Even I can see the indicator has been turned on there, but there's no fraction. So what could be the wrong? Oh, let me check. This is the positive PoE injector. Actually, the, the one coming from the TB-Link is not the standard PoE. That, that's the problem. You know, for the passive PoE, this use DC 24 voltage. But in standard PoE, the voltage is 48 in all the standard PoE. So as I know, there's no solution for repeating the passive PoE because it's not standard. So the, re the solution is we also need to replace the injector from TP-Link because this one is not standard one and also using the DC 24 voltage. We need to change the standard one, PoE injector, which using the DC 48. All right, now first let's just connect back to the LAN for the data from the router. Also, the PoE, the cable going through the, to the Auto access point, now we power up. So let's go to check again. All right, now we can see the data is on, both power and data is on. Let's just check the access point. All right, now you can see there's Wi-Fi from the TP-Link, auto access point, it's working. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any question, you can post in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.